from the undergrad was... When did you first know that you were more attracted to engineering? Can you go back to that time? Okay. I guess it's probably, probably when... Like whenever something was broken at my, at my home, my parents were awesome. Um, so they would just give it to me to play with it. So it was already broken, right? I could just open it and do whatever. And most of the times I would open it and just close it back again, not change anything, and it could start working. <laughs> and I think my parents thought that I was like brilliant or something because I was fixing these like electronics. So I think maybe there. Um, but when I was actually faced with the decision of what career to choose, I was really into sociology, which is super different, or engineering. Um, and sociology is amazing, but like as for my capabilities, I think there was more I could do uh, for, for me and my surroundings if I would follow an engineering path. So what, what does the International uh, Women's Day mean to you? Huh. <laughs> mm. It's an opportunity to look um, into the context of women, right? So here in Canada, it's actually really nice because there's people from everywhere. Um, and we, we have good opportunities. Uh, but it's also maybe a chance to look at countries where women don't have as good opportunities as we do. So do you find that the fact that it's celebrated and, and well, not, not celebrated, it's, uh, it's kind of a way to raise awareness. Do you think that's, that, that's something that, that should be done or is it overboard? Or? No, I, no, absolutely. Do you think it's, it's, I, I think it's yeah. a perfect opportunity to raise awareness. I think. I think definitely awareness has been raised uh, as like we've like at least for for my case in my generation I feel like my opportunities aren't really different from a, a male person at my same level same 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 like schooling what I do is I post on Facebook like amazing stories of amazing women that have done great things in science in engineering in sports and it's a great opportunity to show that there's women that have achieved that and right. that there's role models that we can follow and it's possible. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I think highlighting those role, role models is, is one of the most important things that we could do. Yeah. In... Yeah, because it's possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What does International Women's Day mean to you? So I, I think I kind of touched, touched upon this. Yeah. Um, highlighting the role models um, uh, I, I think that's that that's really important. Um, now, th there are two things, though. I always say that to to create opportunities for women uh, and to to attract more 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 girls into into fields of STEM, it's not only girls that we should be working on, and it's not only in 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 uni at university level. It's definitely it has to start at a much, much younger age and it has to be with boys and girls. So that's, that, that is, you know, my, uh, what, I f what I really believe in. But um, there's, there's definitely something to be said about, um, uh, about providing and, and I, um, not providing, but identifying good role models for young, uh, for girls and, and women to follow. And, and my experience has been that, well, frankly, I would have not uh, been brave enough to choose this job if I did not have good role models. Mm -hmm. I had role models that showed me that it's possible, it's, 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 it's okay, not just possible, it's okay to work hard as a woman, it's okay to be ambitious, it's okay to follow your dreams, right? You don't have to settle for anything. Mm -hmm. And those, mo those role models really, um, it, it, they, they gave me hope and gave me motivation. So I, would, I wouldn't have been here if it weren't for those role models.